Hello and welcome to this PAL World custom launcher development video. I'm going to show you in this uh, tutorial video how you can use Game Launcher Creator V3 to create your very own custom PAL World launchers. Now, um, the, the way we've had to develop this plugin is very extensive um, because you just can't simply, at the moment, you just can't simply connect direct to a server. It's, it, it's just not possible but we've made it possible with this plugin so i'm going to show you in this tutorial um, exactly how you would set up your um, launcher and um, how you can get it running and connecting straight to your power world launcher so what uh, server sorry so once you've developed your own custom launcher you can then give this launcher to your friends you, if you're running a community or a guild you can upload it to your website people can download it and they can connect straight to your server when they jump into PAL world. So I'm going to show you how we can achieve all that with Game Launcher Creator V3 and the PAL world plugin. Now Game Launcher Creator V3 is a drag and drop um, custom launcher creator. So there's no programming involved whatsoever. Um, it can be as easy and simple to use as you want, or it can be as advanced and more technical um, if you need it to be. It's a very, very powerful software uh, and it's available now. Um, you can go and grab it in the link below in the description. I'll pop it there for you. I'll probably put it up on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, so you'll when you do ha get Game Launcher Creator V3, you will need the PAL World plugin um, in order to connect to your PAL World server. So if you're new to Game Launcher Creator V3 or you've not seen it before, definitely worth checking it out. It's dead easy to use, so I'm going to show you now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to file a new project. And I'm just going to call it my custom PAL world launcher. Um, author, I'm just going to put in Danny J. Um, and I could use a template if I wanted, uh, but for the sake of this tutorial video, I'm not going to bother. But to, if you want to design your own custom launcher, you can use the blank one here. Let's give it that. You can use the blank one, just set your size here of the window. Or you can use one of the uh, templates that are available here. Um, and again, even when you use a template, you can still customize it. You can change the buttons, move the buttons, um, bring in your own images. These are just like starter templates just to get you going, but you can still modify them once you've chosen one. So for the sake of this one, I'm just going to use a blank uh, template so we can create our own. Now, again, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to go too in-depth with creating an awesome looking launcher. I mean, you can do that yourself. It's dead easy to use. Everything's drag and drop. You can drag your images in, you can drag buttons in, you can create buttons. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do um, with Game Launcher Creator. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep this uh, as basic and as simple as possible. Let me just move this over here so it's not on the window uh, because there is a couple of images um, that I am gonna use just to make it look at least a little bit presentable for the sake of this video. Um, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, because I'm using a blank template, I want to put a, a bit of a background image on here. Now, I don't like the 640x480 resolution that I've given it, so I'm going to go to Launcher Settings, and I'm going to go to Window Width here, and I'm just going to say 800 on the width, and we'll keep 480 for the height. So this just gives me a nice, um, better... Uh, launcher size here to play with uh, and then what I can do is I can go to launcher library and I can import the images that I want to use and I can simply drag and drop those images over so I've got them on my computer um, as you can see here you might not be able to see behind the dialogue this is why I moved it off the screen and um, there's plenty of different images I've got here that I've I can use, so if I drag this one in, for example, it'll say successfully imported. You can just drag and drop the images in. Um, I don't think I want to use that one. Let's go with, um, I've got a blank one somewhere. The PAL world. Let's use this one. Um, so I can import that. Oh no, we've already imported it. What am I doing? You just... <laughs> Yeah, so once you've imported it into your lib launcher library, you can then go to the page section here, and this is the default page, and just right click, edit page, go to background, select an image, and then choose the background image that we've just imported, click select, and then we have our background on our launcher. So it's as easy as that to use. Um, right, so 
um, let's figure out how we connect to our Power World server uh, inside our launcher. Dead easy. Again, if you look over here, once you've installed the plugin, it will appear in your object list, little Power World icon there. So if you double click that, it'll insert this uh, Power World object. Now, you can see the object in the editor, but you won't see this in the launcher when it's built. This is hidden. So obviously you can just see it inside the editor so that you can get hold of it and select it. So once you've inserted the Power World object into your custom launcher, uh, you just hover over this button here um, and then click for the settings. Uh, click on general and as you can see we have here, all you do is you put in your server IP, your server port and a password if you have a password on it there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop in the Power World server information. Bear with me one second. Um, I've got these details here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. There we go. Here we are. Right, so I'm going to pop in the IP of my dedicated Power World server. There we are. And then the port, I'm going to pop that in, paste it in, and then I'm going to type in the password as well. And it's as easy as that. And then you just close the dialogue and that's done. So what you need now is a connect button. So obviously inside GLC V3, you can do stuff like insert an image button, uh, you know, so you can import your own image images for buttons if you want to. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to drop in a nice and easy text button. Uh, I'm just going to pop it down here in the corner. Um, and then what I can do is I can click on that button and click on the edit text, box, text button settings. And then I can uh, change all the colours and everything. I'm just going to change the text to say connect to server. Right, so this is the only link that you need to do. Get your Power World object and select it. Go up here and you can see there the internal name of the Power World object. P underscore zero, Power World underscore zero. So we right click and copy that. Then we get hold of our button, go to the settings, click on actions click on add a new action and then we just simply drop down to Power World. it's going to ask us what the name of our Power World object is that's got the ip information and everything and we simply just paste that name in click on close close that and you're done that's literally how easy it is to connect your Power World server in a custom launcher so again there's plenty of things that you can do to make your launcher look even cooler you can put discord buttons in so people can connect straight to your discord server you can put GIFs in, videos, um, text strings, you can, you, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do. Um, so yeah, it, you know, you, you could be here all day just designing your own super cool launcher to give out to people. But I'm just going to show you quickly how that works. So what we need to do then is we just go simply to launcher, build launcher. And then before you build your launcher, just go down here, click on Power World support. And then simply click on build and that will build your custom launcher for you. Once that's finished, we can then view our launcher files. Just gonna just gonna drag this from another monitor, bear with me one second. Here are our launcher files. Um, so when you ship your launcher, you need to make sure that you, um, you should put all these files together because it needs, it needs the data folder and it needs all these as well. Now you will notice there are two uh, files here. One's called powerworldreset.exe and the other one is called sketch.bat. Now if you're following the tutorial on the documentation section, uh, if you just go back to your launcher, um, what happens is... Um, in fact, I'll show you what happens. Let me run the launcher to show you what happens. So when your user runs your launcher like this, um, they'll click connect to server. So when they click connect to server, what's going to happen is it's going to ask them which version of Power World they're using. So the plugin has support for both Steam and Game Pass. So it'll ask them, so for example, I'm using Steam. So I'm going to click on Steam 
and as you can see boom straight away it loads up and it chucks us into power world and then the only thing we need to do is click on join multiplayer game and it will connect us straight to the server it won't show us the server listing or anything like that it'll just connect straight to our dedicated server right so now that I've showed you that let me just show you something else so when the user comes back to the game launcher um, when they click connect to server now it won't pop up asking them if it's Steam or Xbox because it already knows so as soon as they click connect to server it'll instantly just run Steam and connect PAL World to the dedicated server so this is why I'm going back to these files um, that are in here so PAL World reset and sketch.bat so let's reopen GLC v3 in fact let's just close our launcher down so what you want to do is you want to create another button in your launcher and you can put this button anywhere you want I'll pop it there and I'm just going to call it uh, launcher reset and then actions click on new action you want to do launch local file pal world hyphen reset dot exe so what, what this button is going to do is let's just say one of your users plays on Steam but then let's say in a couple of months time they've got the Xbox Game Pass version um, and they want to you know they want that dialog to come up again because they want to switch it over all they have to do is click this launcher reset button which will run this power world reset application and it will reset everything so then once that's done and then they open the launcher again uh, and, and click to connect it will say um, do you want to run Steam or Xbox so it just gives them a chance to switch the platform that they're using if they need to uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you um, I'm just going to need to build that again and then view launcher files and then what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you how that works um, which is dead easy so when I run the launch I've already reset it now so when I run the launcher again it should ask me do I want Steam or Xbox so my launcher launcher reset connect to server and it should ask us again there we go so we're running steam click on steam and it'll sort it out and run for us so again there's loads of stuff that you can do with game launcher creator v3 and like i said now that that game launcher is built what you need to do is you need to follow the documentation in the link below that i'm going to send you there's something you need to do with this sketch.bat and you need to create an installer for your launcher so you will give the installer out to people so what i'll do is i'll post that link below in the description below uh, and that'll take you over to the documentation section on the tutorials on the website and just follow the little bit at the bottom um, that says um, how to create the installer with this because if you don't do if you don't execute this batch file and at the end of the installer your launch is not going to work on your user's computer but there's a tutorial link for that a little bit further down below uh don't forget to check out game launcher creator v3 you'll be very happy i promise this is a software that's been in development for seven years now There's thousands of users worldwide and it doesn't only support pal world it supports minecraft and 5m steam games uh, your own custom games it, it basically supports anything so you can create your own custom launchers for any any game at all whether it's a game you've made yourself or it's a game that some another company has made you can create your own custom launchers and give them out to people um, there's lots more resources available so check out our website gamelauchercreator.com i'm danny j and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.